Good morning, Chameleon Wranglers. Welcome to day four of the Bioactive series. Today, we're gonna to be talking about hydration. Now, this is a complicated topic for us Chameleon Keepers because many of us are coming from a history of using only screen cages and using misting for the only source of hydration. And what happens under that system is that the chameleon lives in the same ambient conditions that the room is, and that's what a screen cage does. And more often than not, that room has uh, central air, heating, air conditioning, which takes moisture out of the air. And so the chameleons are living in a low humidity environment. Thus, they lose moisture through breathing and just normal living, and they have to rehydrate when the misting comes on. So the chameleons are bouncing between this dehydrated state and this hydrated state. And that's why uh, you'd see chameleons drinking a lot during the day. It's because they dehydrated during the night just through normal breathing. And this is how it is for any animal. Now, we can mitigate that dehydration hydration swing by adding in humidity control. In this case, many of us use foggers. And that makes sense. If you breathe in dry air, you're going to be losing moisture to the air because it's just going to suck it out. If you breathe in humid air, you don't get as thirsty because you're not losing as much moisture. And the time that chameleons and we lose much of our moisture is through breathing all night. So we're dehydrating, but we're not replenishing that water. And then when we wake up, we're thirsty. But if a fog bank rolls in at night and the chameleons are sitting within that high humidity cloud, they are not losing moisture from breathing. They wake up feeling a lot less dehydrated and maybe they just need a top off of water. Using this naturalistic hydration with foggers during the night uh, is a little bit new to the chameleon community and so there's a learning curve with it. But it's absolutely critical to understand that when you start using a bioactive environment. Because within a closed system like that, you can't just mist and mist and mist because you're just gonna totally saturate your substrate with all of that water. And so this is where learning how to use a fogger is invaluable. Because if you fog during the night and your chameleon doesn't get dehydrated during the night, then the only hydration they need during the day is some light spritzing from the mister. And your system can easily absorb that amount of water. And so you'll find within our hydration system that fogging is an integral part of the success of it. Now, of course, you do want some place for water to go and being in control of the water going into your system is important because if you saturate the substrate, it won't be able to hold the life. And so that's why we have a drainage layer. Any water coming into the substrate can then drain into the drainage layer and stay at the bottom with those clay balls. The water will slowly wick up into the system, roots will go down into that water, and as long as there's a balance, you have a healthy, hydrated system. Now you will hear that some experienced keepers don't have a drainage layer down there. And this is the benefit if you become very good at balancing the hydration of your system. If you know how to use fogging effectively and you only use a little bit of the misting, you can make sure your chameleon is fully hydrated while at the same time making sure that your system doesn't go out of balance. So then the question is, what's a good schedule for hydration? And for that, you can use the standard Chameleon Academy naturalistic hydration schedule, which relies upon a great deal of fogging at the night, a minute or so of misting at the beginning of the fogging session just to set the stage, and then a minute after the fogging session before the lights come on so the chameleon wakes up to a world covered in dew. But the misting only has to be long enough to create a dew layer, not so much that there's water dripping off of the leaves into the substrate. Now the plants in the substrate do need water, so you're gonna have to make sure you do give enough that they get water, but within your high humidity environment, that isn't often the problem. And then you can use misters, a little bit during the day, a little bit in the evening, whatever you need to keep your system within the parameters that whatever species of chameleon you have needs. With a bioactive system, it'll be a little bit harder to judge your chameleon's hydration levels by looking at the poop because that's gonna be disappearing into the leaves. So you're gonna have to watch for behavior. When you do spray the leaves, does the chameleon rush over and drink. If that's the case, then you need to hydrate a little bit more. But with both a fogger and a mister, you're able to come up with a hydration schedule that works for your particular cage within your particular environment. 
And it's important that you're able to judge that within your situation. I can give a care summary. I can give recommendations for a schedule. But in the end, everybody's situation is different. Somebody in Arizona is going to have to do something different than somebody in England or Alabama or Washington or here in California the way I'm doing it. So you can ask around as to what people do. The most useful information will come from people within your area who have had to deal with the conditions that you're dealing with. But we're gonna go ahead and go over the basics. In the next episode, I'm actually gonna be hooking up the fogger and the mister to my bioactive cage. This is one episode in a series about creating a bioactive environment for your chameleon. Subscribe to Chameleon Academy for the whole thing, and I'll see you very soon. <laughs>